When we do ultrasound in supine PCNL, the primary aim is you identify the loin region and keep the kidney like this. And uh, when you have doubt, uh, if you go up, uh, you will understand which is, which is, uh, see the lower pole, the, that lower pole. When, whenever you are going up, that is upper pole. Automatically, when you come anterior, spleen will come. You can see the spleen. Under the shadow of the spleen, you can see like this. See, that is a rib, vertical ribs. Now, full kidney, if you wanted to see, what you have to do is, we have to go back. Kidney is a retropatron structure. And with the little tilt, you see, it was like this, kidney is not seen. When you tilt like this, entire kidney length is seen. Entire kidney length. And one most important is acoustic shadowing. Show the acoustic shadowing. The entire thing is acoustic shadowing. These things you should not miss. If you go more posteriorly, you, unless uh, if you look like this, it will be never seen in supine PCNL. If you turn only, you can see. This is what is the prone PCNL. This is what is the prone PCNL. The upper pole is more, uh, the upper pole is more nearer to skin. Lower pole is more away from the skin. This is the basic point. All the stones are uh, the the wherever the stone is there they, they sometimes very big stone may not catch the posterior shadow individually that is all shadow big shadow so this is non dilated system very obviously so if you wanted to do supine if this is the position if, if this is the position when you come anteriorly you should be more anterior in supine PCNL. so come anterior where the stone is seen like, like this you are going like this you are going, like this you are going, see, this is the maximum. So it, at this stage, if you puncture properly, for example, expression little less, if you puncture like this, here, here, this, that, or this calyx, this, this, if you puncture this also, everything can be reached, because lower a little bit, upper a little bit. Automatically, at this level, what you are seeing is, if I puncture from this line, 100% colon is not coming. 100% colon is not coming. When colon will come, go anteriorly, go anteriorly, go anteriorly, go and still, still we are safe. That means you can do better with this puncture lower pole. That means posterior axial line also you can utilize. Still colon is not coming. Still colon is not coming. Still the, the kidney disappeared. There is no point going at this juncture, at this level. Now, colon is coming. So, like this way, you should not puncture down. Who will puncture like this? That means this area is your area of safety. In this area, what we have to see is whether you put the whether if you if you if you put it in this area, rest of the kidney stone is down. So that if you puncture like this, you can work out everything like this. If you puncture here, like this you have to work out. So I will try to put somewhere here and see whether the stone is seen or not. Now inject the contrast. At this level you should inject contrast. Whichever is the lower pole, aim directly the stone. So inject contrast stony. Now, uh, inject contrast stony. See, this is the picture. This is the picture. Now, this is what the picture which is shown in ultrasound. This is what the variation we are we are we are seeing. He has kept deep inspiration. In that case, what I have to do? See him. See him. Ah, in that case, what I have to do? See him. The, the, uh, this calyx I wanted to puncture. So exactly it has come same. Only direction of the needle is changing. In this, uh, I will try to go anterior because. No colon. no colon is there and lower pole is more anterior. My aim in supine PCL is anterior. But you should not go in this position horizontal. At a time colon and at a time mm, this thing you cannot puncture. So see now I am able to inject contrast. Inject dorsal. My aim is this this one. So, so that you can little bit down also you can identify like this. And if you turn down how is it is moving you have to see if you turn up it is moving ah, if you turn up it is moving that means it is anterior. anterior in this case i wanted to lift the stone 
now i will move it and i will withdraw ideally the water should come here when you are doing a major case perfect major case major case you should never cross but i have not felt the stone that is the problem so you have to do a little bit of readjustment go to very very 5 5 degrees he has to move 5 5 degrees 5 yes it has gone already it has gone down down means posterior so i am telling that it is anterior wait there only and now slowly without moving the needle okay now you go anterior anterior angulate properly completely come out see it should move 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 still i am not confident in that case what should we do we should inject the saline so now i will take one more chance come out and uh, go completely anterior okay it is not that much moving actually see the my hand movement how i am doing see here it is here it is moving maximum produces on the right so here it is in that contrast here it is moving maximum now 0 degree the slightly and then yeah now i am there 100% now how i will see now i am 100% there b why felt the stone i felt the stone, felt the stone. that's all <laughs> it's not that this thing so 10 degree up and down adjustment is essential with this sir i feel that i can finish the all the stone, all the stone. that is my feeling this is